A new video uploaded by the YouTuber named Bald and Bankrupt shows how depressing my country of England has become. The premise of Bald and Bankrupt's content is centered around traveling to dangerous places and being on the ground consistently filming to show you, the viewer, what these places are really like. In his latest video titled, Offered business on England's worst street, Bald and Bankrupt delves into what life is like for the average Brit outside of the capital city of London, touching on how Britain is the world's sixth biggest economy, yet things aren't quite what they seem on the ground. He visits Plymouth, where graffiti, abandoned buildings and homelessness is rife. And one person who wasn't from England said she was going back to Germany because, quote, the country is done. You can't see a doctor, a dentist. You can't even get a flat. And when asked, is Plymouth getting worse or is Britain getting worse? What's your opinion? She answered, yeah, the whole of the UK. You can't help but think when you see things like this, that Britain's glory days, Britain's best days are so long gone and so far behind us. And the truth is, I can't see how we ever get them back. He visits Western Supermare, where the coastal town used to be a tourist hotspot because of its long sandy beach, grand piers and museums. But now, more buildings have been abandoned, including old colonial buildings and restaurants, and the open buildings are all run down. You can see, though, that before there was money invested here. Look at these old buildings. But now it's just, I don't know. What's happened? He also visits Birmingham, where littering seems to be common practice. Yeah, look at it. Don't they collect rubbish in this city? <laughs> Original Smirnoff. Okay, well. Where staying at a small hotel reminded Bald and Bankrupt about staying in a Russian prison. There are more abandoned shops, and the open ones seem to be catered towards South Asians. How to put it delicately, it doesn't feel very British. Let's put it that way. I mean... You've got your music blaring over here from, I don't know, maybe some... Hello, where's that? Right, got it. You've got some Indian music playing here. You've got Bank of India over there, Bank of Baroda. You've got Ganesh, bloody Sri Ganesh exclusives. There are weapon surrender bins, prostitutes on the streets. What do you mean business? What's that even mean? Jiggy Jiggy. Oh, Jiggy Jiggy. No, I'm okay for Jiggy Jiggy today. But thank you for the offer. I was just asked if I want Jiggy Jiggy on Soho Road. And even in the hotel he was staying at. Where are you all from, locals? Leeds. Um, Leeds? <laughs> Leeds? Yeah. What are you doing down here? You know how it goes. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Oh my God. What a place. Hello. He visited a small village called Horden, which is in County Durham, where it was an old mining village once upon a time, and in the northeast of England, it was once the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. But now, in post industrial Britain, there are more run down and derelict terrace houses, with some buildings showing fake blinds and doors to give the impression that it isn't abandoned. And here's abandoned too, and I thought actually it was some blinds and a window, but it's not, it's a picture of blinds and a window. And look at this it's not a real door, it's a picture of a door. I suppose the council want to kind of make the place look a bit better and more up here. Look up here. This is so freaky. That's not a curtain. That's a picture of a curtain. People are also shoplifting and then selling their items on the street. Got loads of different ones. Got the Benz one, got pink ones as well. Get ones with uh, computers as well. Nah, I'm not right. Now, all of this shows the neglect of our government from abysmal policy decisions such as mass immigration, lockdowns and the expansion of the welfare state. It also shows the forgotten communities within Britain and the state of decline of our once great country. And the only way to get out of this mess is by radical change and immediate action by the MPs we elect. But unfortunately... They do not seem too bothered.